All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to exercise number five. Um, still working through homework number one of this class, and this exercise is implementing the recursive solution to the Towers of Hanoi puzzle. I'm sure you've seen it before, but in case you haven't, um, it is simply a puzzle in which you try to move a stack of disks from one peg to another using an intermediary peg um, and there's a rule that you can't put a larger disk on top of a smaller one and it has a nice succinct um, recursive solution that is detailed here in these three steps which is if you have n disks to move from A to B then first you move the top n minus one disks from A to C using B as temporary storage and then you move the top disk from A to B, and then you move the same n minus one disks from C to B using A as temporary storage. And what that looks like is, well, the first step would be, in using this picture up here, moving n minus one disks from A to C. Okay, if the leftmost peg is A, excuse me, and the rightmost peg is B, and your middle peg is C then first you move the blue through yellow pegs to the middle middle um, or sorry the, the blue through yellow disks to the middle peg and then you move the top disk from A to B which is the purple disk over here and then finally you move the original blue through yellow disks from the middle peg which is C onto B Alright, so they give us some type aliases here to use and a type signature for the function, and they also give us a little sample output. So if you are trying to move two disks from A to B using C as temporary storage, then your first step would be to move the top peg from A to C. Then you move the largest peg from A to B, and then you move the smaller peg onto B from C. Okay, so, and these are just type aliases, which basically serve as um, documentation. Makes the code a little easier to read and understand. Okay, so, the type signature here basically means um, what are the it gives me the the list of moves required to move this many pegs from from one peg to another given given a third peg. Okay, and before I even get started, I know this is a recursive solution, so I do need a base case. And my base case is if I'm trying to move zero disks, then it doesn't matter what my pegs are called, I always return the empty list. Okay, so I'm just going to do a straightforward translation of these three rules. So first I want to move n minus 1 disks from A to C. Step 1 moves. And I'm moving n minus 1 disks from A to C. Using B as temporary storage. It may be clearer if I just name these A, B, C. Um, I think I'll do that. Oops, this is A to C. Right? Yeah, A to C. The step two move is just a move from A to B. Remember, move is just a tuple oops, of peg and peg. And that should be B. And then finally, move N minus one disks from C to B. to B. 
And I just put all my moves together using the list concatenation operator. So I have to put this single move into a singleton list and see if that compiles. It does not because I forgot an equals. And now it compiles. So now I'll try it out. And it works. So it's not a very efficient solution, but it is very succinct. So thank you for watching, and I uh, will see you next time.